treat me, Rose. I felt myself giving up. The struggle between good and evil has been with us a long time, and it's not likely to be going away anytime soon. But I'd like to think that if we remember the past... Is this heaven? No, it's not heaven. It's just memory. And some of the truly evil things we have failed to stop. <laughs> well, just maybe the good in us has a decent chance to survive. My name's Anne. Almost Anne everybody Frank. knows the story of Anne Frank, the young Jewish girl who perished during Hitler's Holocaust. Emmett. Fewer people Emmett. know about Emmett Till. A young black boy just about the same age as Anne, who was tortured and lynched in Money, Mississippi for whistling at a white woman. <whistles> Imagine Anne and Emmett meeting in a place called memory. What might they say to each other? Would they have anything in common to share or have any lessons for us? What happens if we don't listen to their voices? Bo, listen to me. The rules are different for colored people down south. If you encounter a white woman, don't look at her, don't say anything. If she comes to pass you on the sidewalk... No, look down. No, Bo, you don't just look down, you cross the street. Okay, okay, I got it. No laughing, no talking, no joking, no fighting, no joy whatsoever. This is not living. It is not living, but we are still alive. Are we doomed to simply repeat the past? In Auschwitz, they tattooed our arms with numbers. My people were the gold, black gold. Bring that young gal, Roy. She's good for a start, bit I mean. What if we don't even remember them? In America, it doesn't matter what religion you are. It only matters if you're white. And in America, your people get to be white. So you're comparing who suffered more. No, I'm not I just saying remember, that. while you were trying to get into the officer clubs, we were trying to stay out of the oven. And we both ended up dead. Winter was so bitter. We were hungry all of the time. And sometimes we had to fight like animals for a scrap of food. No, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't go back. No, oh, it's too painful. Then Margaret died. They dumped her body into a mass grave. That tears and blood should mix like rain. A big cotton gin fan that around my neck. Never come again. Shoot me in the head. <laughs> Throw me in the Tallahatchie. I grew delirious. Knew that I was dying, slipping away. Then I heard a soft tapping sound that soon became loud thumping. Was it the sound of the Dutch police coming for me again? Or... Just the less beats of my heart. To forget would be not only dangerous, but offensive. To forget the dead would be akin to killing them a second time. I think Janda did a great job in connecting the parallels that most people don't see between the experience of Anne Frank and the experience of Emmett Till and how all people have had to come together as a result of these separate tragedies and build a better world. And I like the way it ended on that note. Let's bring the light, let's light the candles throughout the world. Well, there are two very powerful stories that illustrate the um, injustice and hatred that exists in the world. It's part of human nature, and we all have to make an attempt to rise above that. I thought it was uh, beautifully acted. Janet did a wonderful job. I've been following this, this play for, uh, for a long time. Great cast, really directed, great design, and a fantastic theater they got here, too. So it was a real treat. It is amazing that that story, the way she put it together, is in her head. Oh, yeah. And thank God she put it on paper and they, they put it on display. I'm, I'm, I'm moved uh, beyond tears. Thoroughly enjoyed this play. It was powerful, emotional, moving. I hope that a lot of people out there, not only in the United States, but all over the world, see this play. And what's most amazing is that everything we saw and heard tonight has the added advantage of all being true. And that's so sad, 
but at the same time, it's so important. I mean, the play's been over now for what, 10, 15 minutes? And it's still hard not to. No. And we need to see this on Broadway in New York. It's that important. I am so moved and so shaken, and I was crying in there. I mean, the writing is powerful. The acting and directing are extraordinary um, and bring Janet Cohen's words to life brilliantly and powerfully. And I am really overcome. I think it is timeless. The play is a brilliant sort of call to action. There's no age limit to see this, uh, young people, old people. We can never forget what happened to Anne. We can never forget what happened to Emmett. If we do forget, we do it at our own peril. So I encourage people, go see this play. It was really special, moving, and heartbreaking. I thought the production was fabulous. I was very moved. I thought the cast was tremendous. And I thought it had a very important message. And I think Janet Langhart Cohn's words were so poignant and so true. And I thought it was a, it was a brilliant play. It was beautiful and inspiring and very creative and very imaginative and really smart to think that these two individuals at different times in their lives, almost the same age who experienced such tragedy, would have a lesson for all of us. And I, I cried during most of it. It was really beautifully done. I think it was so brave and so necessary. It was an amazing achievement, and an amazing achievement, a great triumph. And I'm so proud of Janet. I'm so proud of what she's done and, and bringing these words and bringing this message to the world. I think she did us all a great service and lifted the veil to discuss something that needed to be talked about. It was wonderful. And it was so imaginative, wasn't it? Brilliant. I, I'm so proud of her. I mean, I, I don't know her in this capacity, and I'm absolutely floored. I'm thrilled, and, and I'm so happy that we were able to make it this evening. I think it was a, a, a crowning achievement. Magnificent. Well done. Brava. Bravissima. <laughs> it was a phenomenal play. Like, I really like the... Like, it just brought two different scenarios and history together, and it really inspired me, actually inspired me to write. What I found so surprising and wonderful was how emotional it was. It didn't just hit you here, it hit you here. I, I, felt, I felt the power of it in my chest and not just in my head, and that was, that was I think, what was so winning about it. It was, it was an amazing evening. I think it was very, very powerful. Um, and such a message to us all today, you know, that we think that things like that are in the past. But it's really the remembrance and trying to tell people uh, that this is still going on. Very important play, I think. For me, what was most interesting is as an English professor, sitting surrounded by my students and figuring out how powerful words are. And it was the most amazing experience. And they all enjoyed it as well. I was uh, absolutely, it was breathtaking. Uh, I thought this was wonderful, evoked a tremendous amount of emotions. And, you know, after the thought, after the play, you kind of realize uh, how many similarities there were between Jews, I happen to be Jewish, and the blacks. Uh, and recognizing the similarities that have taken place, question that comes to mind after the play is, we black and Jews should band together to help not just each other, but rather to help make America better. The performance was excellent. The subject matter was very touching, very moving, very stirring, very timely especially with what's going on today in Israel, what's going on in America, what's going on in Europe. And I think it's a wonderful dialogue between the past, and I'd like to see that dialogue move forward into something futuristic. The brilliance of the unification of Emma Till and, and Anne Frank uh, lends a contemporary power to this, because there's still so much hatred and misunderstanding. And to see this brought home in such a vivid way through such important people, and to get the message of memory, memory not just the Jew, not just the black, but both, and what they suffered in common, I think is an extraordinarily powerful message. I was really 
blown away. I, I learned so much. I learned so much about Anne Frank. There are many things that I didn't know about Emmett Till. It reminded me of the times during the 50s were going on that Anne Frank lived before Emmett Till, and so she would not have known all the history that he was sharing. It was such an education, it was riveting, and even the scene where the father became the racist in character was just, I was just, I wanted to shoot him. <laughs> I really, I, it was just, I, w I was in the moment. I really, I felt the pain, I felt the anger, but just the unfairness. You ask yourself, how could those kind of worlds exist where you can treat human beings less than animals, you can kill them, have no value for them, but it also reminded me of just how far we've come especially for my generation, to be blessed and born in a time where we don't have to deal with that as much. So it was a blessing, it was wonderful. All right. I really enjoyed the play. I found it really very moving. I was able to bring my two young children, and I was a little concerned that it might be a little intense for them, but it wasn't. I mean, it's an intense play. It's an incredibly intense subject, but um, I thought it was handled really well, and I think it gave them a lot to think about, and it gave, a lot, it gave us a lot to talk about, too. So I'm really looking forward to the ride home. Well, I loved it. It was terrific. And um, first of all, on so many different levels. First of all, the writing was fabulous, I think. Uh, I love the idea of a memory. It was a great concept, I think. Uh, you know, these sort of things could be done, and they, they don't, there's, there's, it's a new perspective on this. And I think a, a great play brings a different perspective. Uh, so I admire Janet's ability to do that. The actors are incredible. I mean, first of all, just memorizing that many lines and doing it with great emotion and feeling was uh, really breathtaking. And, um, and the story is an important one. And um, my father was the prosecutor at the Nuremberg trials. He prosecuted the original 21 defendants at Nuremberg in 1945. And three years ago, I passed the Emmett Till legislation. And he should have been mentioned, Jim Talent was a Republican senator from Missouri. He joined me in that effort, along with Patrick Leahy, a senator from Vermont. And I wrote the original bill to allow us to reach back in these cold civil rights cases and to go after the people uh, that committed these crimes years ago where evidence still exists to prosecute them. So it was moving to me tonight to have, no, my father prosecuted the Nazis, and I'd like to think I helped the memory of Emmett Till still alive. So it had a special significance for me.